Hello everybody. Um, I wanted to uh, do a Friday Reads, Weekend Reads. I don't even remember what they're called. Um, but if I remember correctly, when I did them all the time, I always changed the names on them because I didn't, never knew if it was weekend or Friday. But um, next week, um, the read-along starts um, for Pulp Friction that... Um, I'm hosting, and um, I have my Discord um, server link down below, and there's a bunch of different channels on there. So there's like um, a Lovecraft channel, a TBR channel, um, favorite book covers channel, um, and then the read along um, channel. Um, there's more in there too, but, um, it's been really fun and, um, there's a few of us in there right now and I'm really digging it and, um, I'm going to be doing more read-alongs and, um, things of that nature as we move forward here. But the point is, is that I had a lot of books on my TBR for February and I don't know if it's because February is a shorter month or what, but, um, there was a ton of books on there, I read some of them, and then I started reading books that weren't on my TBR, I told you it was going to happen, it happened, and here we are, um, but I realized that since March Mystery Madness, um, starts the week after next, um, and next week we're doing Pulp Friction, that um, this weekend is like the last time I'm going to have to finish up a bunch of these books that I wanted to read. <clears throat> and um, I don't know if I will do um, a chopping block video, but there are some books that got DNF'd and not forever, but for right now. Um, because I'm just not feeling it right now, and there's other stuff I'm reading that I'm more into, and I don't want to force myself through something at the minute. So um, we'll talk about that in my wrap-up, um, which I guess maybe I'll do that next week. Let's not worry about that right now. But I wanted to talk to you about the books that I um, need to finish this weekend, so on Monday we can start Pulp Friction and just have no friction, and, um, glide in smooth-like. Um, probably shouldn't use euphemisms when talking about a book like Pulp Friction. Um, but that's just me. Y you know how I be. That's like the second time I've said something along those lines. Okay, um, yeah, my weekend reads here. I am 23% of the way through um, David Goodis's Blonde on the Street Corner. And um, I'm digging it. It's not knocking me out like other Goodis stuff I've read has, but it's, it's good. Um, the other one I'm reading is... Um, Fletcher Flora's Strange Sisters. Um, I'm 7% of the way through that, so I just started it. But this is very difficult to read. And um, it's not difficult to read in the sense that... Um, how do I say this? Everything I've read so far in the book and it's only been, like, what page am I on? Let me just look. Okay, so I'm on page 38. Um, it's like, from what I'm feeling from it, it's about this woman who is trying to force herself to be with a man. And she is, like, a career woman, and, um, 
kind of like the new breed, because again, this was put out in the 50s, but like kind of the new breed of um, city woman who um, is going to, you know, do all the things that you do. Like you have a good job, you have a nice apartment, um, you're a career woman. And, um, everything that's happened so far is her trying to talk herself into the fact that being with this guy that she met at a bar, um, on total happenstance, and they've been going out and stuff now, that this is the normal thing to do, and that it's okay, and this is what you're supposed to do, and this is what, like, society suspects of you and women have been doing this for thousands of years um being with men they don't want to be with because it's the norm and to just you know you can do it and it's really really hard to read um it, it's just uh It's very, um, off-putting is not the right word. It's just sad. And, um, like, I just can't imagine having to have that kind of inner dialogue where you're, like, trying to convince yourself that this is right and then there's a part of you screaming, like, no, it's not right. But, like, having to jump through hoops and do all the steps, it's just, um, it's just awful. And, um, if this book is like any other book from this period, um, this is not going to end well. <clears throat> but, um, it's not sensational as of yet. It's not um, titillating, as they like to say. Um, so it's uh, it's just kind of sad. I don't know a better way of putting it. Um, a lot of the um, lesbian pulp fiction that I've read seems to try to appeal to the straight male reader. And um, even like an Anne Bannon book seems to have more, um, and it might be more of an editorial hand in it. I know um, Vin Packer had a lot of problems with the editorial hand. Um, over her books, but, um, this is Fletcher Flora, and I'm just like, like, I can't believe how just dark the inner workings of this is. So, with that being said, I'm just trying to finish it. And then I am 38% of the way through the, um, second, um, Kothar book, which is, man, um, Kothar of the Magic Sword, um, and it's good, um, I don't know, um, the first Kothar book I read was so good, but it was also because I was expecting nothing, but now that I know that Kothar is really good, I'm expecting this to fall short, even though my hopes are for it to exceed. So, um, I'm kind of talking myself out of having a good experience reading a book, but if I could get these three books finished over the next three days and go right into Pulp Friction, um, we'll be printing money over here, folks. You know what I'm saying? Mine. So, um, we will see. Um, I'm very excited. And if you've read these books, um, let me know down below what you think. Um, if you want to join us in the Pulp Fiction 
Pulp Fiction, Pulp Friction read-along. It starts Monday. The Discord server link will be down below. And um, if you want to come and just talk about other stuff too, please do. Um, and then I'm deciding on um, if I'm going to be doing, because I've been doing the um, Cthulhu Mythos series, and I really, 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 really want to do a Conan series. Um, and I was originally going to wait until I was done with the Cthulhu Mythos series. Um, but I'm just sitting here going, man, Sundays are Cthulhu Mythos days, but it, wouldn't it be awesome if Saturdays were a Conan day? So, um... I'm, I'm on the fence about that. So, um, if tomorrow there's a Conan video, it's because I decided to just go ahead and do the Conan videos. So, um... Let me know down below what you think of all this nonsense, and um, if you're looking forward to March Mystery Madness, if you're looking forward to the read-along, um, and please join us in Discord, so I will see you all later.